Today we see if the Vancouver Canucks can make the playoffs in the 2018-2019 season. Hey guys, it's Mister again for another video today. And we're going to be continuing our Vancouver uh, Canucks franchise mode today. And I'm pretty excited because it's a very close ra race in our division right now. We are currently at 69 points. What a great time to be at 69 points. Uh, so our record right now is 30-24-9. Uh, so we're tied with Arizona, who is also at 69 points, and they are 33-26-3. So really, they have a better record than us, but uh, they've just gotten more regulation wins and losses than extra time losses. Like, we have nine extra time losses. I mean, it's not ten like the Anaheim Ducks, but this is a big game against the Coyotes. If we get the two points, we uh, will move up into the second wild card spot. Hopefully, we will look at the uh, team bracket right now. We will see what is up in our division. So Calgary is under under us by five points. So unless they really turn it on, I don't know if they'll be uh, making the playoffs, but there's still like, 20, like 19 games, I think. So we should be good. Really happy to see Ghost uh, producing offensively. Unfortunately, he just isn't growing. Like He's been 85 or 86 this whole series. And he's currently 25, so he's about to max out. Like, next year will be his last year to grow. And uh, Jeff Skinner's at uh, a medium elite potential, only 88 overall. I've seen him be able to get to 93. I don't know why he. I can't get him to it, though. Uh, like I said, go, Ghost, I don't know. There's not much I can do about low elites. Low elites are so random, I find. Uh, then Berchi is doing pretty good, 23 goals. The same thing with Skinner. Bo Horvat's getting a lot of assists, putting up some points as well. Uh, so really closest, or, or definitely for sure our best player as of right now is Jeff Skinner with 54 points in 63 games. If you look at uh, Hellebuck to see how he's doing, I think he should be doing good. He's got a 2.76, which isn't too bad. Uh, he's 22, 21, and 5, though, which isn't too great. He's got a 9.10 save percentage, which isn't that great either. Our backup Markstrom has a decent uh, save, excuse me, save percentage though, and also a better GAA. But uh, we will see if uh, we can pick it up here. We are one day off the trade deadline, and I don't know. I don't know if I don't really want to make any trades because this team has massive potential, and we can really do something with it. I just, I don't know, mate. We just aren't simulating very well right now. So Sven Berchu, Sven eighty-eight, Sam Bennett. I, haven't been able to get grow growing yet, unfortunately. Like, I'm giving him the ice time. Uh, Jeff Skinner, and I swear Elias Lindholm was 88 at the start of the season. So, Hurdle, also not growing. Uh, Reed Boucher, he's, he grew, and I, he got promoted to the second line because he's really good at uh, scoring. He's got a minus six right now, which could be. Kind of a struggle. And then Goldobin, Vertanen, and Horvat make up our third line. Horvat is doing really good. He's got uh, 40 points right now, so he's doing really good. And the fourth line, we got uh, Besser, Sutter, and Gaunts. So both Gaunts and Sutter are getting the assist to the, uh, or to the goals that uh, Besser is putting in the back of the net, which is really good. He does have 14 goals, and he isn't too bad of a minus player, but the other two are kind of bad, yeah. Brock Besser has a 22.2 shot percentage right now. It's got to be the highest on the team. Lindholm has 14.9, which is pretty good. And then Berchi has 15.5, which is also pretty good defensively. We have Stetcher and Gusty Spear on the first line. Uh, we'll see how they are doing. Lots of assists for Stetcher and obviously lots of assists for uh, Gusty Spear as well. Uh, not doing too bad. They're both minus players, but... Just the majority of our players are minus players, except for Ben Hutton for some reason. He's getting plus 21. Like, what? That's crazy. Uh, Big Risk doesn't get a lot of points, unfortunately. Hutton has quite a decent amount of assist. Uh, Tanev is doing okay. Uh, Triamkin not doing too great. So I really don't know if I should make some line changes or what. I think we'll see how everything goes, but uh, as of the trade deadline, I'm not going to do anything. So, uh, yeah, we'll just move on. This game against Arizona is a big one. Really need the points here. Uh, we will see. 
we'll see what is up. We're gonna we're gonna slow sim it just to see how we do. I say slow sim. It's basically gonna be a quick sim because I don't think I will actually look at the pe at the periods. Uh, first periods, or not at the first, or not at the periods uh, at the uh, or uh, at an eight times speed. So first period. Uh, seven nine, not too bad. Uh, we are out shooting them zero zero though. Second period one one. Brendan Gauntz opens up the scoring, and Peter Holland gets the tying goal. Uh, period number three, awesome. Skinner with two goals, and Hurdle buries the empty netter. That is good. Um, happy with that, definitely. So our next uh, divisional opponent is L.A. It's Florida? No, not Florida. Uh, it's L.A. So we will uh, move to that L.A. game. Got to edit our uh, scouting assignment real quick. We will look at... Uh, I don't freaking know. We'll look at this league at defenseman for three weeks. Um, all right, so yeah. We'll see how we do against the games in between our... Uh, excuse me, our... Um, uh, other games again, or until we get to our playoff or our division opponents, we have a lot of games. We have three games against both San Jose and LA, so those could be big points. We would I would like to get. Uh, so we went uh, three two and zero, oh, which is not too bad. Probably could have done better, but uh, it's not too big. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel like you guys might have just heard that. That was kind of loud. Uh, so. 34, 26, and 9. Uh, let's see where we are on the standings right now. Uh, damn, we're still out of a playoff spot. Even though that we got that, uh, we got those points against uh, the Coyotes in our last game against them, we still are kind of are quite far off. So this game could be big against LA. Really need as much points as we can get to beat them out so we can make it to the playoffs. First period, 0-0. Zero, zero. Second period, 2-1 for them. Third period, all we tie the game. So at minimum we're getting a point. Would be a lot better if we get two points. So Borhovat, Bo yep. Bo Horvat scores the, uh, uh, excuse me, scores the, uh, uh, I keep wanting to say empty netter. Freaking scores the uh, game winner. There we go. So now we have a game against the San Jose Sharks, which is the division leaders currently. Uh, would be huge to get two points off them. I don't know. It's, it could be rough, though. I keep going into the calendar by accident. Damn it. Come on. Simulate up to our uh, game against the Sharks. Hopefully we can beat them. Uh, like I said, definitely some important points here to get. We could move up to a wild card spot. Or we'll be tied with the two teams that are in a wild card spot. So after one, 0-0, zero, zero, we are doubling their shots. After two, Troy Stetcher. And then after three, we win the game. Awesome. We shut out the San Jose Sharks, which is a good sign. Uh, we will see how we do. Uh, so we are now in a wild card spot. So we'll simulate up into this. Uh, this next San Jose game because against Colorado, I'm not too worried. They're in our conference, but uh, it's not that not as big of a deal. Hopefully, we can still get a point or two off them, though. Ideally, we do get two points. And Pittsburgh, uh, we need as many points as we can take, so we beat them as well. Currently on a what's that six game win streak. Knock on wood. Hopefully, we can continue that win streak. Uh, we'll look at forwards here for three weeks. Sure. So uh, now against San Jose, which probably still the division leaders, are we still in a playoff spot? We are. We st are still in the wild card spot, but this is two big points. Then we become one point behind uh, the Oilers and the Sharks, and that means we could definitely, definitely make it in. Uh, we'll see how we do. Uh, first period, Brock Besser, awesome. Second period. Mikhail Bodker, third period. Ah, oh, we just got shut down, unfortunately. So, unfortunately, didn't get any points out of them. I did knock on wood. Come on, game. You should have gave me the win. Third me. Uh, rough. All right. So, this next game against the LA Kings are very important uh, because we need we need these points. I really I don't want to just squeak into the playoffs. Like, if it's a close race like it is right now, I'm more okay of it, but 
if we just squeak in by like a point or two, I'd be kind of upset. But the the main thing is that we do make the playoffs. So almost out shooting them for or almost doubling their shots. We are currently fourteen to eight. We uh, scored in the first period. Elias Lindholm. Second period. What the hell? <laughs> Freaking Yannick Weber. Then Drew Doughty. Then Kyle Clifford. Then Reed Boucher. Makes it a one goal game. Then Kopitar. Uh, not looking good. Kyle Clifford with the empty netter. Kyle Clifford had two goals that game. And we don't get a point, which is rough. We are... Oh, man. All right. Next game against the Yodis. Another important one. We need these points. We are not doing good right now. We are actually getting mucked up. We need these points against our divisional teams. I really don't know how we aren't simulating any better. Sam Bennett opens the scoring in the first, and Reed Boucher to Sam Bennett gives a second, and we win the game, sh uh, shutting out the Arizona Coyotes. Should still be in a wild card spot, which we are. Damn, dude, this division is so close. Like, it's crazy. Now against the Edmonton Oilers, we will have to see uh, where we are ranked right now. So we are still good. Uh, still in a wild card spot. Hopefully we can beat or get a point off of the Oilers. I don't know if we'll be uh, catching up to them. We are currently up 2-1 going into third. Sven Berchus scored two that period, and Nikolai Goldopin uh, gets the empty netter. So awesome. We get two points off them as well. Like I said, we need as many points as we can possibly get. So currently at 89 points. I did not mean to go to the calendar. I keep freaking doing it. Uh, our next two games for sure are divisional opponents. So we'll simulate up to a Sharks game. And the next Sharks game we have, and we are hot. We are in the next wildcard spot. If we can win this, we can be either tied or higher than the Sharks. And that could really, really help us out. That means we could almost squeak in for sure. Uh, Chris Tierney and Mirko Mueller, unfortunately, unfortunately, sorry, and then Tyler Johnson. And Jake Furtanen does get a goal, but unfortunately we could not uh, compete with the offense they had that game. Um, and still in a wild card spot, not looking too great for the Kings. I went to the calendar again, man. Holy frig. And our last game... Uh, I think the rest of the games of our season, if I looked, if I saw that right, the rest of the games of the season are all against our d divisional opponents. So, okay, so if they win this game, they could be up into a wild card spot. We really, really need to win this game. So, I just saw that uh, our Utica Comets did make the playoffs, so that's great. After one, Nikolai Goldobin. After two, Jeff Carter ties the game, now 1-1. One, one. And we're going to get a point at least. Overtime shootout. Uh, unfortunately, we only get one point, which is better than none. So, and we should we are still ahead of them, but really would have been helpful to get two points there. Okay, so this Dallas game doesn't matter too much. Well, that's not true. I still want to win it. Uh, we will simulate up to the day. I don't know why I'm doing it like that. So against Dallas, hopefully we can win this. I think if we get points here, we can clinch a playoff spot. Elias Lindholm. Holy, what a period for us. Troy Stetcher, Reed Boucher, Jeff Skinner, then Brett Ritchie brings them in within three. And then Brandon Sutter gets another one late. And then Marcus McNeil, or Mark McNeil, sorry, uh, makes it 5-2. There we go. Are we, did we make the playoffs? We did not. We are still very close, though. So... This Calgary Flames team is not a good, is not too great of a team, and we made the playoffs. Awesome, awesome, rip the Kings. Fortunately for them, they do not make the playoffs, but we do, so that's very great. Uh, uh, currently, Anaheim is one point off of one hundred, looking like they are for sure going to get the uh, division uh, title. So uh, we'll simulate this Calgary game. Not too big of a deal. Uh, as of right now, but uh, Curtis Lazar, uh, Bo Horvath, and Johnny Gaudreau, and Johnny Gaudreau and Curtis Lazar, the only two people to score in that game for the Flames. Fortunately, we lose, but we already made the playoffs, so it's not that big of a deal to me. Uh, unfortunately, though, we uh, might be going up against the Ducks, which could be kind of rough, and our last game of the season is against the Ducks as well. Breaking 41 wins. Can we break 42? We can. So awesome. 
if we are going against the Ducks, we have uh, the momentum going in to, against them. So we are not. We are going against the Minnesota Wild. Okay. Uh, that will be next episode, but the video is not over yet. So we, as we see here, we have the Anaheim Ducks versus the Arizona Coyotes. Then we have the San Jose Sharks versus the Edmonton Oilers, which was a real-life uh, matchup. Then we have the Minnesota Wild versus the Van or Vancouver Canucks, which is us. And then our last two or last series in the West is the Preds versus the Blackhawks, which is also a real life uh, thing um, in the first round. And then in the East, we have the Panthers versus the uh, Leafs. Hopefully, the Leafs win that one. Uh, then we got the Sabers versus the Red Wings. Then we got the Flyers versus the Lightning. And we got Pens versus Caps, which. If it's like every other Pens Cap series, the Pens will come out on top in probably six. So, looking at the East, not a lot of teams in real life actually, or not a lot of teams in this sim actually made the playoffs in real life. Only three out of the eight did. So, uh, yeah, I think we just go look at the stats really quickly. Currently at 87% locker room chemistry, which could be very, very good. Jeff Skinner finished off with the most points on our team at 68 in uh, 82 games, which is good. Right behind him, Sven Berchi with 57. Then Ghosty Spare actually grew. Awesome. Sick. He actually grew one overall. Bo Horvat really picked it up. Uh, Elias Lindholm still doing good. Reed Boucher did really well as well. We will see who had the most goals on our team. Uh, Skinner with 28. Berchi with 26. Hurdle with 23. Boucher with uh, 22. Then after that, it kind of drops. How about this? Just to see Shane Gusty Spare with the most at 43, which is still a lot. Troy Stetcher also at 36, so those two are doing good. They both grew up to an 87, which is awesome. Who did best for plus minus? Probably Ben Hunt. I meant to do plus minus. Yeah, Ben Hunt had a plus 25. Skinner had a plus 10. Bennett, Berchi, who had the worst minus Stetcher and Hurdle at minus 13, which kind of sucks. But uh, where's Ghost? Ghost had a minus 8. Maybe that's why they are uh, not doing too great. So let's go look at uh, our goal tending to see how well they did. They really picked it up at, towards the end. So 261, Hellebuck really improved in his GAA. And Markstrom, I think, is basically the same. Uh, we'll see, 914 save percentage for Hellebuck. He brought it up, and then I think Markstrom's went down by one, unfortunately. But it's not too big of a deal. As long as Hellebuck can perform in the playoffs, we should be good. Uh, we'll see uh, the entire league for goaltenders first, and we'll see who will win the Vesna. Uh, probably not any of our goalies. We'll see who had the uh, best GAA as a starter. Uh, well, I mean, Bobrovsky's not really a starter, but he did have over 25 games, 216 and a 930. If it's not Bobrovsky, it'll probably be Price. Yeah, it'll probably be Price or Bobrovsky. Bobrovsky might get it just because he played just over 25 games. But if it's not Bobrovsky, it'll definitely be Pricer. So how about uh, all the skaters in the league? We will see how everyone did here. Who had the most points? Jacob Voracek with 100 points. Right on the dot. Then uh, Giroux with 98. Kane with 94 and 51 goals. Uh, Tarasenko with 92 and 49 goals, and someone you don't really see up there too often. Braden Shen, up to an 89 overall. Damn. Forsberg is a 93. Holy, he had 88 points, 47 goals. Taze with 87. Eric Carlson with 87. Perry with 84. Hornquist with 82 on the Yotes. And then after that, they're all under point per game, so I'm assuming Kaner had the most goals. Is that true? I sorted it by assist by accident. Ovechkin snagged it from him. He had 52 goals, just one more. Ovechkin takes his uh, takes his title back, and as you can see, Ovechkin is actually no longer a franchise player. He is a exact lead, so he's really getting old. Uh, Patty Kane's still a franchise player, though. So who did have the most assist? I think it was Ryan Johansson. Yes, it was. He is up to a 64. I want to know who was playing with them. Uh, I wonder if it was Arvidsson. Oh, my God. Connor Shearer is up to an 87. Uh, damn. Strom's an 84. McDavid. Henry, Crystal Line, and Oshie. Who 
Who the hell? What was Barbara Chef doing? 83. Crosby's at 97. Okay. Uh, Raj Law's at 87. I have no idea who was playing on the first line with uh, uh, Forsberg and uh, Johansson. But uh, Yossi had a lot of assists too. Uh, I have no clue. You know what? I'm just going to go check the... Uh, the uh, uh, Predators really quickly just to see uh, who was playing together so uh, Johansson Forsberg will go by points so Forsberg Johansson and Neal probably yeah James Neal also got a lot of goals damn 47 for Forsberg then 35 for Neal and then that's why Johansson has so many assists how did uh, Subban do? Where is Subzi? I don't see Subban. Oh, there he is. 50 points, not too bad. 41 assists, good for him. It's cool, cool, cool. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, look at the uh, um, whole league for placement right now. First in our division was the Anaheim Ducks. Second, the San Jose Sharks. Third, the Edmonton Oilers. Fourth, the Arizona Coyotes, and fifth, uh, us, the Vancouver Canucks, kind of just squeaking into the playoffs. I mean, it's a bit unfortunate, but uh, hopefully we can do well in the playoffs this year. And I was right about the Flames. They weren't making it. So Pacific Div Division is a rough time. First, uh, or the President's Trophy winners are the F Philadelphia Flyers. And then in second place is the number one seed in... Uh, the other division, the Central Division, I think. Yep, the number one seed in the Central Division, which is who we are against in the first round. The Minnesota Wild, 47-28-7. They had a freaking gnarly record. So hopefully we can do good against them. Uh, might be a little hard. But, uh, 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 sorry. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. So thank you guys for, uh, so much for watching this video. Hopefully you all did enjoy. Lots to do in this uh, next episode. We are going to uh, do our playoffs or do the uh, uh, first round of the playoffs against Minnesota. And uh, we'll just see really quickly how our uh, Utica Comets are doing. So I don't want to simulate any farther because then our, uh, our, our first game in the NHL will be simulated. But I know we locked up the playoffs about a long time ago. And which is right, we have 95 points. So we really did good this year. So do the Toronto Marlies. They don't. Even, they haven't even hit 20 regulation losses yet. They are 47, 18, 7. They could break 50 wins if they win probably the last three games of their season. I'm assuming. And then uh, we uh, we went 45, 23, and 5 with three games left in the season. But uh, yeah, that's not too important. So next episode. Look forward to us facing the Minnesota Wild and hopefully moving on to the second round, which I think might be the first time. Uh, I don't think we made it past the first round. I'll have to check to confirm that. But, uh, yeah, guys, so anyways, thank you so much for watching. I've been just rambling now. Uh, it means a lot for you to watch. Thank you, and any and all support is greatly appreciated. really means a lot, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Minnesota and Canucks. Why did I say Minnesota and Canucks? Minnesota and Vancouver. First round of the playoffs. Can Vancouver bring home their first franchises cup? We'll see you in the next episode. Thank you, guys.